we're actually part of all these planetary systems and they're all got a role. Like we know that the sun plays a huge role in agriculture. You can't grow plants without the sun. But there's also other planets such like as Mars and there's Venus and Jupiter and Saturn and the whole solar system full of planets that are directly interacting with our planet. And so what they're doing all these times is they're streaming all their forces down, all different elements and forces and energy patterns and energy flows and they're putting it into the soil and through the earth into the soil and these preps are a way to open up that connection between the forces and the plant again so they can get in there. So basically there's two forms of energy that comes into the, the realm for us. One's astral and one's ethereal. So the, the plants are ethereal good way to remember it is earth so they and the, and the astral is like um, like for instance a cow has a lot of astrality because it, it has the astral is like the sentience so the cow goes oh I'm thirsty I'm gonna walk down to the trough and have a drink oh that grass looks good over there I'm gonna go and eat some so that's the astral coming into it and it's a sentience and that astral nature inside the cow that's enabling it to have that um, where the plants don't really have that, they're just kind of rooted in the soil. Very much alive in a different way, but they operate through a different set of... So when we're doing these preparations, and the reason why we have the intestines or the parts of the animal is because we're taking, we're taking ethereal, well, we're taking, we're taking ethereal and we're combining it with astral, so we're, we're meshing in, the, the, what, we're bringing the best part of the plant and what we want to capture, like dandelion, Dandelion's got a lot of silic acid, which is like our organs are touch and feel and all these sort of things are regulated by that, by that silica process. And so we take that plant and then we put it inside the animal, corresponding animal part, so it, it then intensifies that process and wakes it up and gives it like, uh, you know, like life. So it can then go and do what it needs to do. It can't just be in the planet without being physical because it's we're in a third dimensional reality. We're in, we're stuck in a physical third dimensional reality. So, the form that that is is nitrogen. Yeah. So the nitrogen is the carrier of, of life, and so all the sparkly shit, the physical structure is actually nitrogen. Yeah. Seventy. That's scientifically seventy eight percent of the atmosphere is nitrogen. Yeah. Not everyone talks about nitrogen. When you learn in school that you breathe nitrogen, you don't even talk about that. You know, you learn about oxygen and stuff, yeah. which is only a small portion of it. You're going to bring it intelligence into the soil, which then the single plants, maybe a lettuce or maybe a berry or a tomato, according to what that plant actually needs, then it will the plant itself will be able to um, basically gather it in. So it creates the soil. It's basically making the soil customised to each and every individual plant through intelligence process. That's what the singing really does. Even with all that trace elements, agronomy, no-till, whatever, I've never ever seen anything that gets such an intense response from the soil as these preparations after they go into the CPV, that go into the compost and you put that into your, into your soil.